and we begin here in New York with pride. Uh, the day that makes every colour that's not on the rainbow flag feel like a worthless sack of shit. <laughs> now, this year, there was even more to celebrate than usual. Back to the big news of the day, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling 5-4 to four to legalize same-sex marriage in the entire country. That obviously includes the 14 states where it was against the law. Yes! <laughs> finally! Finally! All across America, anyone can get married. Anyone except, of course, for guys who own snakes. <laughs> they still can't, but that's on them. That's an actual lifestyle choice, Gary. <laughs> and, and look, we, we don't have time to get into all the responses. Basically, if you thought someone would be happy or angry at the decision, they probably were. But the award for greatest moment in global pride celebrations actually had nothing to do with gay marriage and everything to do with the idiocy of CNN. Because <laughs> if, if you were watching them yesterday, you may have seen this. And this just in to CNN, an unnerving sight today at a London gay pride celebration, an ISIS flag among a sea of rainbow colors. I seem to be the only person who has spotted this. Hmm. Um, and nobody seems to be raising any questions or pointing it out. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tell you why they weren't raising any questions. That's not the ISIS flag. That's a flag with dildos and butt plugs all over it. <laughs> and yet, and yet, for more than seven spectacular minutes, CNN had it on screen, even calling one of their terrorism experts to try to figure out why ISIS might be marching with the gay community through London. Which did seem surprising. Now, it turns out it's a full day later now, and they've still not addressed that mistake on air. Probably because it would be just too embarrassing to have a professional journalist say, I'm sorry, Despite working at CNN, it seems I don't know what a dildo looks like. <laughs> I don't know.